Hi friends. So quick video vlog. Um because weather is so pants outside, um I thought I'd do a quick little vlog about what I've been training for over the last couple of months. Um so um as you can see from the clip at the start the clips at the start, I do like my drone. I do like flying my drone and uh, I love the perspective that it gives you. Um, and as you know, it's almost becoming essential if you're a uh, vlogger to have a drone and to throw some drone footage in. So people like Floating My Boat, um, Narrowboat Girl, Foxes Afloat, um, and guys regularly use drone images. Um, but what I've decided to do is I'm going to go to a next level. In so much as I'm going to apply for a permission to fly commercial operations from the Civil Aviation Authority. Which sounds dead posh, doesn't it? Um, but essentially, it's um, I'm going to do an online course. You can do a sort of fast track, I think it's five day course. Um, so I decided to do because um, it gives, the online course gives you the flexibility to just chip away at it when and if you can. Um, I think you get like six months to complete it. I might be wrong on that, so don't quote me on that. But um, I think I started it in f March. Um, so being um, uh, an elder gentleman, and I wanted to be, you know, I didn't want to waste this investment. I, I took a long time going through the course. So let me break it down for you first. So there's a... So there's three stages. Number one is a theory test based on a course. Now, it's a multiple choice and it's all to do with aviation law, um, avionics of a drone, uh, weather, safety, and procedures. So that's, it's quite complicated. If, if I mean, you know, I didn't know anything about um, aviation terms, conditions, general stuff. Um, so that's been quite testing, literally, um, because once you've gone through the course, um, at the end of each section of the course, there is like a multiple choice. So I did a lot of that. I went back and redid it and went back and redid it just to try and give me the confidence that I could then sit the theory exam and pass. Um, so I did that and I passed. I got 91%. So I was pretty chuffed with that. And it was like second highest in the class. Um, and then you have to do your OSC, which is your operational safety <laughs> operational safety case. Um, as you can see, a lot of the terms they aren't coming natural. Um, so yeah, that is basically a written procedure procedure of um, how you go about flying a drone. Now, you haven't got to write that from scratch, thankfully. Um, so I did my training with a company called Uplift Drones, who have been uh, exceptionally helpful. And they give you like templates that you then, um, you take that template and you make it yours. So it's not like, it's not these 
two massive volumes that you've got to create off the cuff. But even so, it's still quite a daunting task. So there's um, volume one is your procedures, how you uh, how you conduct yourself, what your company structure is, um, how you deal with working with other people, how you deal with safety, how you deal with hazards, how you actually fly, your procedures, your setup, your in-flight, your post-flight. It's very in-depth and like I say, it's quite daunting, but you just got to keep chipping away at it, which I do. Um, and that's, that's volume one. Volume two is specific to your aircraft, UAV, SUA, whatever acronym you'd like to use for your drone. Um, so again, that's that's relatively simple. Um, you know, a lot of the information is held in the drone's own handbook. You know, a lot of the information you are just transferring. But then there are like, you know, um, things to do like battery voltage and um, what you do in emergencies, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, so we've done that, we've submitted, we submitted that, um, there were two lots of revisions that I needed to do, just, you know, the, the, um, the guy who went through it for me, he said, you know, they're just minor things, but, you know, they will, they are the sort of things that will trip you up, so, like, my insurance certificate said um, over drone so my company's called over as in OVA over over drone um, but obviously I'm a sole trader I'm not like a big company yet. Um, so he said you know put it as Chris Pickering trading as over drone and then that mirrored what was in my um, operational safety case. So yeah, just little things like that that will trip you up and the Civil Aviation Authority will throw it back at you. Um, so then there's the flight test. Flight test is, um, you know, hopefully it's going to be the, the simplest part of it. Um, I rang up to book and they're like, oh, we can fit you in next week, which is a bit of a shock, so I'm a bit on the back foot. But I thought, well, that gives me a week. I can get out and fly as much as possible. I know what sort of uh, manoeuvres are going to be asked of me in the flight test. So things like figure of eight, rising 45 degrees, descending 45 degrees, um, squares, flying with your nose the wrong way, all that sort of jazz. So I feel quite comfortable with that and I thought, well that gives me a week, bang it out, do an hour every day, I'll be fine. So I did my first day, we'll have a little look at that. That was a good sesh. Good half an hour practice. Um, need to concentrate on my figure of eight, I think. Figure of eight and ascending and descending, 45 degrees. 
I think the Euro and A to B and all that's pretty easy. Not pretty easy, but you know, I've done enough to feel confident with that. So, gonna fill in my pilot log and then get back to the boat and get ready for work. See you in a bit. But, ever since then, we are having some horrendous June weather. And it has rained and rained and rained and rained and rained. And just when you think that's not gonna be the end of it, you're right, it rains again. So, I mean, there's, I've seen some images of where we used to be moored on the river and them guys are feeling it. It's like two foot, it's risen two foot. So yeah, if you're on the river, be careful. Um, yeah, so I haven't had the chance to have the flight practice that I would have liked, but hey, you know, I should be all right. And basically, if I do get any, any opportunity to get out there, I'm gonna get out there. So yeah, so let's have a quick rundown again. Three things to do when you're doing a permission to fly commercial operations. Because that is what we're doing. Have I mentioned that? So permission to fly commercial operations from the Civil Aviation Authority doesn't really give you an awful lot over a hobbyist drone pilot. Um, there are... Uh, you can be closer to people. So, for instance, if I was filming on the marina, I could be within, like, imagine that's a person. I could be in a 50 meter bubble. Cut my finger, by the way. Um, whereas if I didn't have the permission to fly commercial operations, I should, although a lot of people just ignore this, um, should be flying at like 150 meters away from people and buildings and livestock and vessels. So yeah. So permission to fly commercial operations does give you some slight benefits and obviously you can then be insured and you can get paid for your work. So for instance, a lot of people do um, roof surveys, they do weddings, they do agricultural surveys, um, obviously filming, photography, you know. There's an awful lot of uses of a UAV. S-U-A. Um, and it's only gonna get more, I reckon. So yeah, so that's what we're heading to. So, just quick update. Sorry, it's not a bit related, but there is quite a few bits of boat footage. Cause, I, yeah, hey, chill. So that's what we're doing. So I shall come back with part two and tell you how we did in the flight test. Hopefully, I'll try and film some of it. But yeah, you know, I don't think we want people seeing exactly what to do because that gives you a bit of an advantage. So yeah, wish me luck. Thanks for watching. If this interests you or living on an airboat interests you, do consider giving us a subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. You just click that little emblem in the corner. That'd be great. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Cheers guys, take care, bye bye.